In the name of Jesus Christ, I welcome you to this service. Uh, it is our children's Christmas Eve service that we have been doing for uh, at least 20, 25 years, the Grumpy Innkeeper. And it is a pleasure to be, to be here with you today to present this live stream version of it. It was a pleasure to have to work with the kids and uh, as they came together and recorded their parts. And we hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that this is a meaningful service for you on this Christmas Eve. It is something that I certainly enjoyed and I hope that it brings you both comfort and hope and inspiration. So let's begin our service. Our vision and mission statement, Grace United Church is an affirming ministry committed to transforming lives by living out God's vision as an active part of the, of the diverse community in the heart of Dartmouth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we journey together in faith as people, embracing every age, race, gender identity, sexual orientation, family composition, mental and physical ability, cultural background, and socioeconomic status in the life and work of Grace United Church. A light is shining in the darkness. What could it be? The sound of angel wings. What could it mean? A baby born in a stable. Who could it be? Come to Bethlehem and see. And let us pray. Oh God, we come filled with excitement to hear the Christmas story again. On this holiest of nights, open wide the crowded inns of our hearts that we may see with new eyes what happened that night so long ago. Open our ears that we may hear your voice in the voices of those around us. Fill us with wonder and mystery that we may experience your presence with us now, we pray. Amen. And I invite you to pray along with me our family prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now we will sing together, O Little Town of Bethlehem, verses 1 and 3, and then the first Noel. And we'll sing verse 1 of that. Please join Malcolm in singing. town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. How silently, how silently thy wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessed gift of heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him in, still the dear Christ enters in. The first 
The Grumpy Innkeeper, adapted from Jesus' Christmas Party by Nicholas Allen. There was nothing the innkeeper liked more than a good night's sleep. Oh, oh hello, bed. Hello, blanket. Good night, bear. Oh. <sighs> but late that night, there was a ringing of the bell. So she put on her glasses, got out of bed, adjusted her mask, climbed down the stairs, and opened the reception door. There's no room. But we've been traveling all night. There's a stable round to the back. You could use that. Um, blanket there. Reception book there. Squirt the hands before you touch anything. So they sanitized, and they signed the register, Mary and Joseph. Then the innkeeper fixed the sign, disinfected, shut the reception door, climbed the stairs. Oh, hello, Beth. Hello, blanket. No pillow, good Got night into bed there. and went to sleep. <sighs> but then, later, there was another oh. ringing of the bell. She put on her glasses got out of bed, adjusted oh. her mask, yes. climbed down the stairs, oh. and opened the reception door. I was just wondering if you had another smaller blanket. Uh, there's one there. Squirt the hands first. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Smaller blanket. Why would then you need a she disinfected blanket? things. Smaller blanket, smaller blanket. Shut the reception door. I just don't understand. Climbed the stairs. Oh. Hello, bed. Hello, blanket. Got into bed. Hello, pillow. Good night, bear. And went to sleep. <sighs> but then a bright light woke her up. Mm. 
She put on her glasses, got out of bed, adjusted her mask, oh, her mask in place. climbed down the stairs, stairs. Oh, what is going on in this place? opened the reception door oh. and went through into the street. What is that? Gee, that's the last thing I need around here. Oh. <sighs> then she shut the door, climbed the stairs. I don't know how a person gets some rest around here. Put a mask Come over on, her eyes. Bear, it's mine now. <sighs> blanket, blanket. Got into bed oh, and went to sleep. Hello, pillow. <laughs> but then there was another ringing of the bell. <sighs> she put on her glasses. Got out of bed, adjusted her mask, climbed down the stairs. What are we going on? The sign said no vacancy. And opened the reception door. Hmm? We are shepherds. What's the matter, lose your sheep? Da. Yeah? And why would we be here? We have come to see Mary and Joseph. Ah, round the back. Then she disinfected everything. Shut the reception door, <coughs> climb the stairs. Oh, just when you think you've seen everything. Got oh, into bed. Right, glasses off, mask. Hello, bed. Good and night, went to bear. Sleep. Oh. Oh. But then there was another ringing of the bell. <sighs> so again, she put on her glasses. She got out of bed. She adjusted her mask. And she came down the stairs. I don't know why they're ringing. The sign says no vacancy. And mm. opened the reception door. Hmm? We are three wise ones. We're here to round to the back. She disinfected the area, hid the bell. Slammed the reception door, <gasps> climbed the stairs. I don't know what a person has to do to get sleep around here. But. Got into bed. Ooh. Hello, bed. Good night, bear. Good and night, went world. To sleep. <sighs> But then a chorus of singing woke her up.
so she got out of bed, put on her glasses, adjusted her mask, stomped down the stairs, threw open the door. That does it! Oh! And when Will these people ever leave me alone? Oh! I, I just don't know what to do about getting a good night's sleep around here. These people, shepherd, wise one, angels, it, it just knows no limit. She stormed into the stable and was just about to speak when... Shh! Don't wake the baby! Don't wake the baby! Shh! Don't wake the baby! You'll wake the baby. Baby? Baby has been born. Oh. And just at that moment, suddenly, amazingly, her anger seemed to fly away. Oh, isn't he lovely? In fact, she thought the baby oh. was so special, she woke up everyone. Oh, 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 the, the guests just have to see this. Oh, my heavens. So you've they, got to wake up. You've got to wake up. So they could come and have a look at the baby. Hello. Too, Hello. From a safe distance. Come and see the baby. Oh, people, people, you've got to come and see the baby. Oh, is it? So sweet. It would develop into quite a Christmas party. Oh. So no one got much sleep that night. The end. Before we close the service today, and that wasn't that a wonderful play? Uh, I hope that you really enjoyed it. The, um, we're going to listen to two uh, carols, and I invite you to sing along at home, sing them as loud as, as you would like. And there were two pieces that were recorded for us by Jennifer, Martin, and Roger. And they are, Do You Hear What I Hear? and Silent Night.
I want to say thank you to all those who made this afternoon's service possible. Uh, we all came in on Saturday and uh, we had a great time uh, recording these particular pieces. So I want to say thank you to all of those who participated. And we'll start with our, our shepherds and our uh, sheepdog. And our shepherds were Alice, Liam, and Clara. And Lucy was our sheepdog. And our three wise gals, or wise ones, were Anna, Grace, and Claire. And our angels. Our angels were Aaron and Bree, and Aaron and Bree had been, had been practicing that song the whole year, and were quite upset with me last year when I chose another song, and uh, they, were, they were very happy to sing that for all of us. And Mary and Joseph were Katie and Max. Our innkeeper was Shirley, and uh, yours truly was the narrator. And in the background, uh, Mark uh, produced all of the stuff and directed it, and Vicki and Wanda helped out with costuming. So for everyone, and especially to, to Malcolm, who offered us uh, music as well. So we thank you for making this service so special. And so let us go with our closing. May the eagerness of the shepherds, the joy of the angels, the perseverance of the magi, and the transformation of the grumpy innkeeper, and the faithfulness of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. Amen. <laughs>